What's going on guys? Steer was got some things. What is in this box? Timberland Pros. If you saw my my last boot video, I've been on the hunt for a new pair of boots. And I thought I was gonna and I've been doing I've been doing so much research. That's all my YouTube feed comes up with now are boot reviews. And to be honest, I was really, really kind of shocked on YouTube at how little, I guess, there are for reviews on boots out there. Um, a lot of it is just almost like company, how do you say, like company teaser videos or like one or two minute videos of just reps, you know, talking about each boot and how awesome their boot is. Um whatever so it's it's hard there's there's some on there but and then even the i mean there's guys on here that cut boots in half to show you the inside there's guys on here that just walk around in them and tell you how they feel about them but it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of real hard use boot reviews on youtube um from guys who who wear them every day um, there were, like I said, there's a couple, but not, not, nothing that really was overly helpful. So hopefully this will, between my last couple videos, um, this will help out. So, uh, I was looking, like I mentioned in the last video or in a previous video, I went to Red Wing and actually got fitted and I was set to go with that. And I, I got no money. I was so unhappy with, um, my Justin's and I was money was no option anymore, and those weren't cheap. They were around 180 to 220 dollars, depending on what options you get. So I I didn't really care. Um, money's no option uh, as far as what I was going to pay for a boot that's going to be comfortable. Um, went to Red Wing and it was going to be like 300 bucks, and I was like cool, um, but it just wasn't. I don't know. Something about it, I still wasn't 100% sold on the, the, the Red Wings um, that I was looking at. And I want a slip-on style Western boot just because I don't want to deal with laces breaking. And I just, I don't know. I've been using them for seven years now and that's what I prefer. And I've heard lots of good things about Ariat. So I was ready, I was re and Timberland Pro. And there's other ones out there. So... I was at my local, um, a local, it's like an hour away, um, store that has a large selection of work boots. And I was in there for like an hour trying on all sorts of different pairs and walking around. And I was almost set on the area at Warthog because I have seen what reviews are on YouTube. Um, the area at Warthog seems to get really favorable reviews. And it has like an asymmetrical toe, which is bigger. Uh, and I, I really liked it. It was comfortable, it was light. And then I was like, oh wait, Timberland. Okay, hold on. I've tried on Timberland work boots before, the laced up ones. And honestly, eight years ago, seven years ago, that's what I almost went with when I was switching over. Um, so I threw these on and these are the Ag Busters. I think they're called the Ag, which ones are these? These are the... Ag Boss. These are the Timbaland Pro Ag Boss. Oh, guys. they For some reason, they felt heavy. They felt almost as heavy as my... And I need to probably weigh them into a comparison. So I was like, ah, God, I've been tired of lugging heavy boots around. I put them on. Oh, my God. Um, honestly, it was like walking on a cloud. I don't... <laughs> Um, I, the, some of the reviews or some reviews, you know, a lot of the, the, uh, the videos on YouTube for Timberland are just reps, Timberland reps talking about the anti-fatigue sole and the spring it gives you. And honestly, guys, just walking around in the store, uh, I was blown away. So I'm super, super excited to give these things a try. Um, little scared to go away from that Vibram sole, 
but kind of honestly excited to give something new a chance. They looked good. They felt phenomenal. It felt like I was wearing sneakers compared to what I've been dealing with. So I'm going to oil these things up some more and uh, give them a go on the job site. And I'll probably bring you back better reviews than my six-year, seven-year review um, with the Justins. I just never thought to do that. So I might do like a month-long review. And I'm, I'm going to let you see how these hold up on the job. But super happy with them so far. I mean, I just bought them. But just walking around in the store, um, they felt like like I was wearing like just a regular tennis shoe or sneaker compared to a work boot. But there you go. They are the Ag Boss from Timberland Pro. And they've got, let me show, I don't know if you can see in there. Maybe, I don't know, some sort of Cool Max thermal regulating system. Uh, they're waterproof, but. Uh, Let's be honest, nothing's ever really waterproof. But um, all right, yeah, I'm gonna give them a give them a, give them a go on the job, and uh, I'll report back on on how they do. But I'm super excited to try something new, and just how they felt. You know that 10 minutes in the store. I'm, I'm excited to get them on the job site and see see how they feel. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Drop your comments down below on on what your favorite work boot is. Or is there another brand I should check into? So thanks for watching, guys.